here bringing you another review video and this time it is of the Pesito ham board now this is Pesito which means little fish in Spanish this is a ham board this is one of their smaller models uh, if you want a bigger model they have the classic and the logger this is kind of the the mid-range size model as you can see this one's called stripe because it has the yellow the white and the blue I think it looks the best out of the colors that they have but they also have a green model a bamboo model and a brown model uh, I'll show pictures of those if you want to look at those, uh, but right here I have the stripe model. So a very unique feature about the ham board is that it actually doesn't have any grip tape on it. You might be thinking a skateboard, longboard without grip tape, but it's actually really, really cool. It feels really nice. They make it so you can ride it barefoot, just like a surfboard. So it actually mimics surfing in that way, and it's very, very comfortable. Another unique thing about this is that you can actually see the graphic on top. If you had grip tape on here, you wouldn't see anything. You'd just see the black grip tape or whatever, just like a regular skateboard. Because of this clear coat grip tape, you can actually you know, see the graphics, see the cool kind of classic longboard feel. It kind of looks like a, a classic surfboard because surfboards, you can always see the graphic on top. Maybe it has some wax on it, but uh, this looks like a surfboard to me. It also has a handboard logo right here, which is also really, really cool. So this one features 150 millimeter reverse king tip trucks and 66 millimeter wheels, uh, all custom made just for uh, the board. A unique feature about this is that it doesn't have the signature wheel wells like the other ham boards do. Uh, and that's because you're not gonna be using a paddle for this type of board. Uh, this is more for pumping and, and going and doing a lot of turns and, and just going for speed. So this is meant for the more advanced user uh, more of a short, short board, not a, uh, a long board surf. Uh, the really selling point is that this is wide. That, that's really, really cool about this board. It's a really wide board. So you're gonna be able to get your feet on here very comfortable. You're gonna be able to turn it really, really, really tight. Uh, that's what I would get this board to do, you know, do some really cool turns and carving techniques, just like if you're on a regular surfboard, as I said before. It's also good for skimboarders. If you don't know what skimboarding is, it's kind of like surfing, but going from the land to the water. So skimboarders typically like this type of board. It's the more mobile version of the fish uh, because it's a little bit smaller, it's easier to carry, it's very portable. So let's take it out, have some fun, see how it looks. I'm Jimmy Farrell. I am going to be trying some ham boards today. I've never ridden them before. I'm a little nervous because they're much larger than what I normally skate. I skateboard professionally for boom boards and this, this should be interesting. Like a little aspect about the board that I did notice is when you're riding down the asphalt, the wheels and the board, just like how they acoustically harmonious, they're, the way they work together sounds really good. It'll train you to be more, you know, loose and more flowy into all your turns, but having the width of the board on the same trucks that the Huntington Hop has, give it much more leverage over top of the truck. It's like the Huntington Hop, but like a little puppy. You just play around with it, have a lot of fun, and it sounds beautiful. The way the wheels and the board go together. So I definitely recommend picking this board up. It's from Ham Boards. It's the mini fish. It's very portable. It's very nice, lightweight, really cool colors. Definitely high quality. So this has been another review video. Marvel out.